Hello students, welcome to my channel. So let us continue with this chapter of metals and non-metals. So in my previous uh, classes, we have discussed that how metals react with oxygen in the air. It reacts with water and also acids. And these metals, they react very differently with all these reactants. Like some metals would react very quickly, some slow. So to get a thorough understanding of metals, uh, of how they react, we'll understand the reactivity series. So metals uh, react with these reactants, uh, which are oxygen, water and acids and uh, they react very differently. So as discussed in my previous uh, classes. But there are some metals that do not react with these reactants. So how do we understand this? So we'll uh, discuss on an example. So consider this is you and your friend. So both of y'all have either a fight or you'll plan to have a game and who wins will be the strongest among y'all both. So consider these are two boys and this is boy A and this is B. So after the game or either they have a fight, the one who is the strongest will win. So consider A is the strongest and A will be the winner and the weaker among the two will lose the fight so this is the weaker person and he is the stronger one so very simple example for you all to understand in my classes in my lectures i like to give very basic uh, examples so you all can correlate these concepts and understand it much better. So the theory you all can read and understand but when it is stated with examples it is easy to remember. So A and B are two boys they have a fight and the one who is the strongest will win the fight. So consider A is the stronger one and he wins the fight. So the same thing happens with metals to have a comparison or to have a thorough understanding of metals we need the metals to react with each other so here in this fight it is a boy will fight with a boy not a boy will fight with a girl it is the same the same thing a metal consider a metal a will react with metal B. So this is metal A and this is metal B. So in all the examples that we have studied previously the metal reacted with oxygen and it reacted with water okay and it reacted with acids so the metals they react with all of these three reactants very differently and how can we get a thorough understanding of which metal is strong and which metal is weak how it behaves how it reacts so to understand it better it has to react with a metal and it is a salt solution so metal a will react with metal b in the form of its salt solution and the one that is the stronger one will displace the other metal like consider we'll discuss this with uh, stating an example but just let us understand the one among the two who is the strongest for considering like a metal a will displace metal B from its salt solution 
and that is how we understand which metal is stronger one this is called the displacement reaction so to understand the reactivity series to get a thorough understanding of which metal is strong which metal is weaker which metal reacts very quickly very vigorously which metal uh, reacts very slowly to get um, a decreasing order of their reactivity uh, we will discuss on this displacement reaction and that is the reactivity series through the displacement reaction the reactivity series is got so let us understand displacement uh, reaction with the help of a example so we'll take an iron nail okay and uh, we'll dip it in a solution of copper sulfate so um this is copper sulfate and this is iron nail so you will observe that the color so you just consider copper sulfate solution here this is just copper sulfate solution and uh, when you dip the iron nail you will observe that the color of this changes now originally copper sulfate is blue in color and uh, in course of time after the reaction happens so when a reaction happens this changes either chemical and physically also so here it is green in color the color has changed that is because the iron has reacted with the solution of copper sulfate so let us understand this with, uh, with the reaction iron it reacts with copper sulfate and it gives iron sulfate plus copper so this is a displacement reaction so among the two it was iron that was more reactive it was more stronger and so it displaced copper another metal from its salt solution so it displaced it removed it threw copper away and it combined with copper sulfate solution so this is um, an example to understand uh, how reactive a metal is so with all these uh, experiments that are conducted uh, we conclude that reactivity series are got through these experiments conducted so reactivity series is a list of metals that are arranged in their decreasing order of reactivity so the most reactive is on the above and the least reactive is at the bottom so by this we get a thorough understanding in depth understanding of how the metals how reactive they are how strong they are how weak they are so most reactive is sodium and potassium and the best example i can give you is sodium and potassium remember that they are very reactive uh, so they are always uh, preserved they are kept in kerosene in the laboratory so the reason why it is kept in kerosene is because they are so reactive if they react or in come in contact with the moisture the vapor in the environment they may catch fire they react a chemical reaction may occur so therefore they are always uh, kept they are stored under kerosene remember this so by stating and remembering these examples we get a thorough understanding so the least reactive is uh, silver and gold so remember gold like um, gold in its purest form uh, like either 22 carat 24 carat gold ornaments that you are wearing you will observe that they don't uh change or you know have a discoloration like they always shiny and lustrous 
so the reason is because gold is always called a noble metal it is least reactive it doesn't react with the environment i'm talking about gold in its purest form good uh, pure gold so ornaments whenever they are worn they uh, pure gold ornaments they don't lose their shine they don't get oxidized they don't get a black tinge or coating on it unlike copper zinc and other metals so that's how we can remember that gold is least reactive it doesn't react with the moisture with the vapor or oxygen in the environment so uh, silver is also less reactive but in comparison with gold yes silver does get oxidized that's why when silver is new when you get it from the smith uh, silver ornaments are nice and shiny and in course of time in few days or maybe a month you will get a blackish tinge on it that is because of oxidation so children by this example we can get a thorough understanding of reactivity series but in case you have not understood or you have any doubts then you can drop in your comments uh, below in this video and i will try to reply to you all at the earliest so i will see you all in my next class